Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Welcome to a very bright day and a desert behind and more importantly a Swedish car which is a Volvo XC60 T6 R design all wheel drive system. God that was a long name. But anyways, welcome to the Volvo XC60. Now, Volvo has been a brand very, when I first drove the XC40, it was a pretty brilliant car and I was super impressed by the fact that it was, it, it was just a complete car with everything in it, be it the luxury, be it the drive, be it an everyday kind of SUV and this car promises to be pretty much the same. Now, of lately, Volvo has been growing quite well because thanks to its new design language and also the, the new sort of lineup that they had an overhaul two years back and then all of a sudden their sales have just picked up and it is selling in huge numbers. 2018 had been one of the best years for them and 2019 is on the same trajectory as well and more to do with not just the safety system but also the overall the overhaul has happened in terms of the design in terms of the interiors in terms of the drive in terms of the exterior in terms of the quality in terms of the fit and finish every single department has had uh, a lot of changes and quite a surprising and a happy change now let's figure out what the new changes are in the volvo xc60 starting off at the front now this this xc60 is an r design so r design is a performance house from the volvo division that that spruces up all the things under the hood and also in terms of the design language so starting off with this R design grille this has uh, is completely different than the standard XC60 you get the big Volvo logo out here with the camera so this car comes with a four uh, actually five camera system one is right in the center for the IntelliSafe system which is so it comes with a full 360 degrees uh, camera system as well now also I apologize for the day being very windy as well and as a result of that the audio may have a lot of wind that is being picked up but again it's a hot and a windy day but just please bear with me now continuing after that you get a fog light the fog lights are led fog lights so that is already in the front spoiler as well and also you get led headlights as well along with the daylight running lamps but apart from that when you touch the car the build quality is pretty supreme and moving on to the other side as well so you get these plastic sort of design uh, feature out here but they don't do anything it's just the plastic bit now continuing on the side you get 19 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with some black sort of design as well on them and they make them look really sturdy and and nice as well and continuing with the entire body on the side it's pretty uh, smooth sort of uh, lines on every uh, single corner and the sloping roof line as well and there are bigger windows if you see and that bigger windows uh, when you sit inside the cabin there, 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 there it feels quite spacious and quite airy as well you get foldable mirrors as well along with the blind spot warning system and also the auto dimming feature as well you get smart keyless entry system as well and also there are night lights as well that illuminate the ground when you are at night that all can be customized from inside the menu the amount of time or or how long you want these lights or do you want these lights or not and also there are some thick roof rails that goes to the back all the way till here as well you also get the iconic uh, volvo lights which continues on the side and goes all the way till back now one clever feature is the the cladding or the the padding out here under the door so this is made sure, make sure that you know whenever you are uh, opening the door the inside frames never get dirty this is something which was uh, also there in the rav4 if you want to check out my rav4 video you can click on the pop-up banner out here so this makes sure that you know the frame don't get dirty and so whenever you uh, step out of the car your pants are never going to get dirty continuing at the back you get completely redesigned uh, tail lights which are uh, LED completely and they go all the way till the, 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 the 
center almost and you also get some badging the volvo badging the t6 r v r design all wheel drive and also the xc60 at the bottom you get chrome tipped exhaust tips the dual uh, tips on both the sides and they are very neatly done so there is no 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 pipe that is visible or or something loose but it's pretty elegantly done as well now uh, the the whole uh, shape is pretty similar to the previous xc60 with the big hunch at the back now in order to open the boot you can either use the button which is out here underneath the the uh, above the the number plate or you can also use the key to open the uh, boot but otherwise you can also if you are someone who shops a lot this is a clever feature that has been given as well so you can just use your leg to open the the boot now in the back as you can see there is quite a big boot space as well the xc60 is actually in competition directly with the bmw x3 and the audi q5 but but in terms of the boot space it has about 505 liters of boot space which can uh, in which you can put two big bags and also a, a small bag and also there is a partition as well but also apart from that the, the seats are foldable and also they are foldable in a ratio of 60s to 40 so when you fold the the, the seats the the amount of boot space is 1432 liters yes that's that's quite a big boot space as well which in which you can easily fit a cycle but also there is a compartment in which you can if you are someone who plays a lot of golf so you can put your or you are someone who likes to ski a lot then you can put the the ski the bag or your golf bag right in there and you can open the as you can see you can open the 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 passage out here in which you can put your your bags as well but apart from that the, it's quite spacious at the back but there, unfortunately there is no way to put this the the the, the separator from the boot and the, the cabin this 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 thing has no space to be put inside as well i checked because um there is no way you can put this and as a result of that you have to just remove and put it down as well now in order to close it's a pretty simple uh, way is either you can pull it or there's a button out here which provides you to close this quite easily now if you are impressed by the exteriors then interiors are very similar as well because volvo has gone all out in terms of the quality the ruggedness the 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 quality of material use everything is built to last and robust and which is quite evident when you sit inside the car and and see everything but one slight issue is this you know the the plastics everywhere why why volvo why would you do that like there's plastic pretty much everywhere it's not even soft touch plastics but just plastics that they've used i mean it, that's the only thing which i would like to change and starting off with this this aluminium design that they've put in the in the insert i'm sorry uh, and this gives that plush feeling when you sit inside also everything is pretty amazing the quality is just nice i keep mentioning about the quality but it is bloody good like everything that like the fit and finish is just next level anyway starting off with the steering wheel now the steering wheel is is pretty nice and pretty handy and it's a leather covered steering wheel with the white stitching on it and it's got a uh, volvo logo in the center with your infotainment controls on the right and the cruise controls uh, on the left side and also there's a r design logo at the bottom and the whole feel of the steering wheel is pretty nice and and it's just right not there in your vision when you're driving but it is at a very nice uh, nice level and also it is telescopic so you can adjust in and out and also top and bottom and find that 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 perfect position for your driving and continuing uh in terms of the quality of the interiors the starting off with the seats the seats are leather seats and they come in the r design package so they are sporty but they are very hard and uh, trust me like 
where on a longer journey they are a bit too hard on your on your body as well but once you get used to that it's it's all right but they hug you quite well because they are sports seats and the 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 padding on the on both the sides just make sure that they hug you well during high speeds the seats are electronically adjustable so they are eight way adjustable there is also lumbar support there is also uh, extended cushion support and that is electronically controlled and that is the best feature that i have found in any car because you can extend the 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 support under your cushion so that you have more support under your thigh and that is such a brilliant feature during the long drives and it gives you a lot of support under the the thighs and and make sure your legs are in cramped and they are in the comfortable position just like your massage seats also this car doesn't have any massage seats but the massage seat fe feature where you can extend the the cushion under your thighs that is there in this car and it is just brilliant anyways continuing in the dashboard you get an 8 inch very high definition screen in which you can control uh, your uh, your dials the the settings the design in it but it's such a crisp display it also shows you navigation on it and it shows you all the 3d uh, buildings and the roads all of that in your center screen there are also paddle shifts on the steering wheel and also these turn signals uh, the turning sticks and the wiper control and continuing in the center you get this big 9 inch infotainment screen which is completely filled with so many uh, features inside wherein you can change a lot of things and a lot of settings from inside like from the, the, the lights inside the cabin to how long you want the lights on, how long you want the exterior lights on, how long you want the follow me home lights on and also there is a wide amount of other features like your lane control, your park assist, your traffic control, the distance alert, there is start stop feature, there is a blaze, there is road sign information, there is passenger adjustment, there is cruise control, there is heads up display heads up display shows you and this is one of the clearest heads up display i have seen even during the bright daylight it is quite visible uh, and bright also it shows you speed it shows you speed limit it shows you cameras uh, cameras as well the speed cameras if there are any on the road it, uh, there is also a collision warning system avoid system and also there is an assistive system there are headlights which are by the way the headlights also turn uh, with the steering wheel as well so that is a clever feature so even that you can adjust using the the controls out here there is also bluetooth there is fm there is am there is android carplay there is android auto there is uh, there is apple carplay i'm sorry there is android auto there is usb there is ipod system there is a cd system yes there is a cd system but it is right under the handrest as well and all the media controls are controlled from the bottom and as a result of that there is no ac control i'm afraid and again the ac control is exactly like the xc40 in the screen as well so you can control both the the, it's a dual climate control system so you can control the AC from the screen as well uh, where you want the air, uh, air con to blow the air on your legs on the on your face or on the top or you can adjust every single thing even you can control the rear climate from here as well the, uh, the rear passengers can also control their uh, climate system as well from here there are this cool little uh, vents in the back as well which are like pretty much horizontal like vertical or horizontal i don't know yes it's it's actually like uh, uh, vertical facing so they are very cleverly designed as well so you can control there's a touch screen at the back as well where you can control all of that the car also comes with the sunroof system panoramic sunroof system which extends all the way till back and also it's got the dimming feature during the day so that the sun rays the uv lights don't come into the car and uh, the, the ones that heat up your car they don't get penetrate into the car and as a result it's always cool inside and you can have the view uh, above as well now continuing with the gear lever the gear lever compared to the xc40 is a better one but it's a little hard when you want to change the gears and it's a little fuzzy as well as you are unsure which gear you are in either you are in reverse i have to always see the 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 center the screen and then uh, you know in the dashboard and then see which which gear i am in because it takes a little while to get familiarized with yourself with the whole setup out here the quality and fit and finish of the start stop button and also the drive mode it's all made out of this aluminium uh, the, this rolling aluminium dial and also the the stop and the start uh, let me show you that like this i've just switched off the car and you can turn this knob 
and it's again made out of aluminium and it feels so premium it it's actually ultra premium because everything and, and on top of that it's just the black thing which has the start stop engine mentioned and and and, and you just have to uh, uh, twist the dials all the time to start and switch off the car and also the the drive mode has this cool little uh, cool little uh, sw swiping sort of the uh, lever where you can select all the drive modes as well now this car comes with four drive modes your eco mode your comfort your uh, dynamic and also it comes with an off-road mode although the off-road is not really much useful but but it still does some off-roading work as well now continuing with the storage you get a lot of uh, storage in the door bins on both the sides the passengers and the driver you can put a, a, a liter and a half worth of storage on both the side bottles and also some paper paper or whatever small stuff that you can put there is also this big dashboard where you can put a lot of things on top of that the other storage is include the glove box even that has fit and finish so and a quality like look at the way it opens like it's so cool it's it's just it's just quality that speaks everywhere and also there is a, a storage out here where i don't know you can store your keys or something and also there is a storage feature out here where the, the cup holders out here and there is a small storage out here there's a cigarette lighter and also this hand uh, uh, the glove box uh, the handrest i'm sorry there's a handrest as well but it has a very small capacity and there's a cd player as well so that is pretty much the the front continuing at the back the the space is pretty spacious as you can see i can easily sit and there is enough of knee room and also the headroom you may think that is there is a sloping roof line but there is surprisingly quite a big headroom and easily a six plus foot can easily sit without knocking their head with the roof and the the back also there is quite a lot of fit and finish and one first clever feature is this if you have a child uh, a, a small kid you want them to be sitting uh, i'm sorry it takes a little while to get used to that ah yes so you can extend the support and the seat is a little raised the seats are enough to sit three people at the back because there is no hunch in the middle but i would suggest not to not for three people but just two people can easily sit comfortably because there is also a transmission tunnel as this is a four wheel like an all wheel drive car so there's a big fat transmission tunnel and during the longer journeys the middle passenger may be a little cramped and the legs may not have anywhere to be placed the seats again are again sporty seats in the back as well and also they are leather seats now in terms of storage at the back as i mentioned before the rear doors also have small storage capacity where you can put half a liter of bottle which is very small actually and there are ac vents on both the pillars and also in the center as well and as i mentioned before it's the it's the ac control is also touch screen as well there is also a charging feature as well uh, uh, you get the standard 12 volt 120 watt charging plug in the back and also in the front you get 12 volt 120 watt charging plug as well and also there are two usb plugs in the in the center uh, handrest as well and one very very cool feature and i don't know how did volvo think about that is a power outlet 150 watt 230 volt charging outlet officially a charging point in which you can put your laptop charger your phone charger a physical charger which just goes straight in how neat feature is that and why did no one think about that and it's also got this covering when if you're not using it you can cover it you also get the isofix points and they are clearly marked and they have a cover as well which you can open and use them overall there is the the build quality even at the back is pretty cool even you have these uh, the cool little lights you have the hooks for your uh, coat as well you also get these extra hooks at the top as well and uh, and I, I think uh, it's just the uh, one of the best places to be in the car as well if you are the back passenger.